Unless your home was built in the last few years, chances are you got a number of weird outlets like this one. This is a coax connector outlet box. This guy is for coax cable, which you probably don't need anymore. And neither do they. So we're gonna make them disappear forever right now on this. So for this method I'm about to show you, number one, <laughs> could be number two. For this method I'm about to show you, we're gonna do what's called a butterfly patch or a California patch. Or a hot patch or, or a... a... This is gonna be a super basic drywall patch that doesn't even involve screws. It's really simple, anyone can do it, and I'm gonna show you how. And all you need is a scrap piece of drywall, some spackling, and a knife. And let me. This is dead, this isn't gonna be used, so we can either just cut it or we can fold it up and stick it back in the box. Hidden forever. Okay, so take your scrap piece of drywall and you're gonna cut it a few inches bigger than the piece that you're gonna be making. So my piece is actually gonna be about this big, so I've cut my scrap to about this size. For this method, what you wanna do is the first thing is just flip it and make sure that you're marking all your cuts on the back because for this, we're gonna be cutting out the back and that'll make more sense in a second. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark our cuts. So I'm gonna have this scrap piece somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna make one mark here at the top and then I'm gonna make my second mark here because I want this piece to fit inside this box. I'm gonna do the same thing for the top and bottom. So I hold it centered. I'm gonna mark the inside of the box here and the inside of the box here. I'm gonna transfer those cuts all the way across. Okay, so now that I have my marks, I'm just gonna transfer those marks all the way to the end of the piece. I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Cut this mark, all the way to the end. Same with these. Okay, now for the fun part. This is why this is such a good method. So from here, all you're gonna do is just break all those cuts. And because the one that we want is in the center, all you're gonna do now is just peel those other pieces off of the paper face. As we're peeling, all we're trying to keep in mind is we wanna keep the paper face on the front. So as you're peeling, just try not to rip that paper if you can. It should come off pretty easily. Okay, and there you go. So at this point, we've got our patch, and we've got our paper backing that we're gonna to use to adhere this to the wall. So just do a quick test fit. And at this point, you can decide if you need to trim any more of this off. So what makes these patches really good is that not only do we have drywall in the center of our patch, but we also have a sort of a built-in tape to help this patch adhere to the wall without cracking. Really simple, barely any tools. You don't even need any screws for this method. So next, we're gonna mud it up. And then we're almost done. So one thing that you're sure to find in an old house with these on it is that there's gonna to be tons and tons of paint buildup around those covers. So just take your knife, and make sure you knock off any high parts first because those are a real pain to get rid of once you start mudding. Okay, so I'm gonna put some on the back of this. So I'm gonna put the spackling on the paper here and this is gonna form the glue that bonds these two pieces together. So I'm just making sure that I get lots of coverage on this, and I'm also gonna build up some spackling on the outside of the drywall piece as well, to lock that into place. Ready to go? Okay, so now that it's in place, I'm just gonna smooth out those edges and get it ready for its second coat where I just basically fan out the paper all the way around. So at this point, just make sure that it's sitting where you want it and let it set up nice and firm so that when I come back with my next coat, it's easy to fill out and then I can sand that down and make it disappear completely. Time for coat numero dos. Let's go too. 
we're ready to sand. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sander. You can use a sanding block. I've got a automatic sander here. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna feather the edges, sand it smooth, prime, paint, gone forever. The good thing about this technique is there's actually no area where there's no drywall. So where there was a drywall hole, we filled that entire space with actual drywall now. So there's no reason why this wouldn't be as strong as anything else. It's, it's brilliant. It's beautiful. But when landlines come back into fashion, we can... <laughs> if you wheel in an old TV in here, you'll know where the coax cable is. No, you won't know. Butterfly patch is blended completely into the wall. Done, out of sight, out of mind. And so am I. Is this gonna be your last coat? It will not, I don't think. You can say we do more, so maybe say something that we do. We do like to do an extra coat or two, just. You can. We do like to do an extra coat or two. I'll say that on my bit. I'll be the one who says, I'll be, I'll be the I'll one that. I'll be the one.